Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. We are Jehu Security and my name is Andrew. Today we'll be walking through how to install and set up the Wicker Me messaging app. Once we're finished with the install and basic functions, we'll cover a few of the features of the app and finally we'll wrap it up with a review of some key settings. If this is your second or third time watching the video, or you're only interested in one part, we have added chapters to make it easier to navigate. As a disclaimer, we are using Apple iOS for this tutorial. However, the process is almost exactly the same on Android devices. One noticeable difference is in how the permissions appear. First, an explanation of what this app is and who it might be best designed for is in order. Wicker Me is described as an ephemeral, anonymous messaging app. Both Wicker Me and Signal messaging apps have incredibly strong encryption. Wicker Me favors privacy over design functionality. That isn't to say that Wicker Me is hard to use, but by comparison, Signal provides a more seamless user experience for those who move to it from modern messaging services. However, Wicker Me goes a step beyond for true anonymity. If you watched our video on the Signal messaging app, then you may be familiar with the feature where the messages can be set to disappear after a certain number of hours or days. In Signal, it is disabled by default and can be enabled for a single message or all messages on a by user basis. In Wicker Me, this is not simply a feature you can or cannot enable, but disappearing messages are enabled and enforced by default. You can set the duration from the default six hours to a range of up to six days, but note that messages cannot be set to auto delete after longer than six days. It is because of this that Wicker Me is described as an ephemeral messaging app. All messages will disappear. The key value of Wicker, as described by them, is that privacy is a universal human right. This concept is seen clearly throughout their messaging app. Even during the research and preparation for this getting started with video, we had to make adjustments and resort to screen captures because the Wicker Me app will not allow you to screen record while the app is on screen. Although this was frustrating while we were trying to put together a clean video, it was refreshing from the perspective of privacy. Now let's get started discovering the app. First, navigate to where you buy apps on your device. This would be the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store for mobile devices and the Wicker website or package manager for desktop versions. From here, search for Wicker Me. It is worth mentioning that there are two distinct apps provided by Wicker. One is Wicker Me with a white background intended for personal use, and the other is Wicker Pro with a black background designed for teams or businesses looking for a tool for collaboration and meetings. You may need to scroll to find the correct app, but typically it will be the first option available. In this case, it is Wicker LLC, so we know this app is safe to download. Go ahead and click Get or Install. Once the app is installed, find it on your device. Now we can begin setting it up for use. When first opening the app, you'll be greeted by a request to send notifications. On the welcome screen, you can select to create a new account or sign in with an existing account. We will choose create account. Here is perhaps the only complaint that we would raise. It is a good practice to view the terms of service for any app or service you use. Of most interest is how they handle your data in relation to third parties. On this page, there is no obvious way to access the terms of service. Most services will have a link or scroll box with their terms of service. However, it could be that Wicker has chosen to forgo this as common practice reveals that too few users will actually read the term of service. Still, it would be nice to have this included here. We have linked the terms of service to Wicker Me in the description below, and because they are favorable, go ahead and click agree and continue. Now we get to the only real step in creating an account, selecting a username and password. Here, we would mention that there is no verification of the account by design. So it is up to you to remember your username and password. Should you forget either of these, 
then there is no account recovery option. This is designed to support maximum privacy and anonymity, since there is no phone number or email account linking you to the account. Here we recommend saving the login information on a password manager for safekeeping. After you type the username you want, wait a second or two and see if it is available, demonstrated by a check mark beside the name. Then enter the password twice to confirm. The next screen will ask you whether or not you'd like to find contacts who may already be using Wickerme. There are two ways you could discover someone on Wickerme. If they have their phone number associated with their account, or if they've already given you their Wickerme username and you've saved it in their contact card on your mobile device. If you seek maximum anonymity, then you should select no to discover contacts. If you seek to use Wickerme similar to a normal messaging app, then select find contacts. If you select to find contacts, the next prompt will be to allow access to your contacts. You can select okay. You are now complete with the account creation. Immediately entering the main page, you will see a notice telling you that messages are locked by default. Jehu security generally favors any security or privacy feature that is enabled by default, and we appreciate this one. Locked by default simply means that when you receive a message, it will not display any text until you tap on it to unlock the message. Later, we will show you how to disable this if you choose to. For now, click OK to move on. Now we are on the main page. From here, click on the pencil icon in the upper right corner to send a message. In our demonstration, we have no contacts associated with our account or contacts, even though we enabled contact discovery. However, we can search for a contact by typing in their username in the search field. We will search for Donald Davies since we know that he has found the internet and has a Wickerme account. Of course, in this case, both of these accounts are fictitious and no longer associated with Jehu Security. Now we are in the message window and can send a message. This completes the account creation process and we're ready to send encrypted and very private messages. Next, we'll review a few of the key messaging features present in Wickerme. First is a burn on read feature depicted by the flame icon next to the text box. This is similar to a feature used in the popular Snapchat. This deletes a message once it has been read by the recipient and can be set for as little as three seconds or up to a maximum of six days. The burn on read feature can be set for each individual message or any per person chat as desired. We have already discussed the expiration or auto delete feature earlier. Here we can access it through the stopwatch icon to the left of the burn on read flame icon. Again, it can be set for as little as six hours or to a maximum of six days. Note that a burn on read option will override the auto delete feature. So if you have a burn on read for 30 seconds and an expiration of 24 hours, the message will be destroyed for you and the recipient 30 seconds after the recipient reads it. Pressing the plus symbol will open additional options. This may be to take or upload a picture or video, upload a file, share your location, or select from a quick reply option. When sharing your location, you will be prompted to allow this. On iOS 14 or later, the default option is for your precise location. There are a few services or apps that we recommend this level of accuracy for. Typically, only a map or direction-based service would truly benefit from this. In most cases, we would recommend turning this off by tapping the precise location on button. This then reverts to only showing the city or rough estimate of your location which is private enough for most users, if this feature is desired at all. A long press on an individual message brings up additional options, such as inline replies within chats. And of course the option to reply with an emoji on a message to show how you really feel, but without having to type words like it was 2010. This next part demonstrates that if a person takes a screen capture of the chat window, the app automatically sends a message to the other user with the exact same screen capture. In this way, you can be sure of exactly what information another person has captured and when they have captured. This directly supports privacy and transparency in the service, since most other messaging apps do not show you when a screen capture has been taken. This is perhaps one of the greatest user features that depicts how committed Wicker Me is to privacy. Clicking on the gear icon at the bottom brings us to the settings. We'll review a few of them here in this video. 
Here you can turn on or off notifications, depending on your choice at the beginning of the account creation. You can turn on only show one-to-one, -one, which will not show notifications for group chats. You can also turn on anonymous notifications, which means that the notification you receive on your phone won't show the sender's name. Also, show message preview will change whether or not text is visible in the notification on your phone outside of the chat window. Under privacy and safety, we find the option to enable automatically unlocking messages. As mentioned earlier in this video, messages are locked by default, but you can disable that here. The reason you may want to disable that is to have a more natural messaging experience. Wickerme also gives you an in-app way to disable third-party keyboards. Some third-party keyboards have been shown to perform keystroke recording. There's a link in the description if you'd like information on one such instance. Under connectivity, there are just a few options. If you find that your calls on Wickerme are unreliable or experience frequent interruptions in sound, you can enable TCP calling. For most users though, it's fine to leave this disabled. You can also turn on censorship avoidance if you live in a very restrictive location. Here, you'll also be able to disable video calls if you do not wish to use that feature. Now, if you tap on your username, you'll see a few settings for your account specifically. Here, you can add a picture if you'd like. You can also add a phone number which can be associated with your account. This will make it much easier for contacts to find you. If you are using this as a regular messaging app, then this would be useful to add. It is so much easier for contacts to find you by your phone number versus having to know your username to be able to chat. Wickerme offers many ways for users to verify their claims of privacy and transparency. A good sign for a company promising security is when they make their source code open for community review. Wickerme does this and submits their code to up to seven third-party entities for security auditing on a regular basis. Additionally, they regularly make available their transparency reports. These reports are typically released every six months and provide some information on how many times they've been asked to comply with legal requests for information and the limited type of information they had available to respond with. This speaks very well to their commitment to be open and honest with their customers using the app. As a note, we are not affiliated with or endorsed by Wickerme. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and click the like button if you have found value. A lot of time and effort goes into each of our videos to try to make content that adds value to you. To help others find this information more readily, consider subscribing and sharing our video for others to see. As always, stay active and stay secure.